Hi, it's Hazel, and welcome to my channel. It is um, a thrift haul video, and a bit of a compilation in that these items were purchased a little bit over time in a few different locations. So, uh, it's not the biggest haul in the world, but there are some, of course, there are some um, really wonderful items. Um, I have three issues. Whoa. I don't know what year this is. Oh, 2008. Uh, 2008. 2000. Okay, three uh, Oprah Magazine issues from 2008 that um, were free for the taking. So I grabbed them just because I'm sure there are some good images in here for collage or glue books or whatever. So free is always a good price. Whoa, sorry about that crash. Um, I thought this was rather cute. 12 Flower Fairies bookmarks. Now this is... Uh, 1998, it was from a Dover publication. Um, I believe they are copyrighted though. Oh, I read that somewhere. Okay, uh, yes, here, <clears throat> copyright 1998. So basically these are pages in this little booklet that you that are perforated and you just separate them and you get 12 little fairy bookmarks so those are so cute and kind of a cute size as well uh, where's my 12 inch room? so i will be putting this in the bin so almost six and five and three quarters um, I will be putting this into the uh, plastic storage container where I've been collecting fairy stuff for, it seems like, an ever, ever and a day. So I was happy to pay a dollar for that. Now this, um, I wish this was leather, but it's not. This, two bucks, is, and this really isn't what our Canadian passports look like, or at least mine is navy. I don't even know if this coat of arms is on here or not, to be honest. Um, I should dig that thing up and, and see if I need to renew it. I uh, got in on that 10-year uh, thing, you know, because anyway, and we know COVID <laughs> ate away at some of those years. Anyway, the reason I picked it up is because I thought it would make a cute little journal cover. It has these little built-in pockets on either side, which of course you'd put your little, um, your covers into, your cover, your passport covers into. Um, I like this color. A person could have, you know, there is a bit of a spine there. A really cute journal. <clears throat> I, it may be a bit small to, to be a travel journal, but nonetheless, very cute. Now this was a box, cost a dollar, it's called Hats for Fun. Um, so cards and envelopes, and honestly I really don't need them. It looks like maybe this is even intact. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, seems an odd number. Yeah, thirteen. <clears throat> anyway, <coughs> excuse me, um, the day I'm taping this, this is my third video of the day, it's also very, very smoky from the wildfires, so I don't know how long my voice will hang in there, but um, it's just, this is fun and feminine, so that's really why I got it. Um, Enough said. Now this one is interesting. Oh, feel the sneeze coming? This um, was purchased. This is a bridge pad. Now I don't know how to play bridge. <clears throat> Woodward's was a Canadian department store that, clo that closed years and years and years and years ago. This apparently cost 50 cents back in the day. 
I did not get it for 50 cents. Let's just say that. This is a fabric covered book. And I guess that's actually part of the design. Or is it? Sorry, I didn't. I this, Maybe that just let go. I don't really care for the way this is, but I guess it's glued that way. Like it's kind of a, anyway, <clears throat> really cute. Well, this is cute. Doesn't that not look like the 70s to you? There was another one in blues and greens, but I of course chose this one. Um, yeah, I think my impulse, yeah, I'm going to separate these and make a nice, neat stack. I don't like the way this is flaring out here. Uh, the box is really cute, though. So, yeah, that was a nice find. Oh, I should say, I bought this from, um, um, what would she be, like, I guess a vintage dealer. And the other thing I bought, but of course I can't drag over here and wouldn't fit under my camera anyway, is one of those cute little metal typing tables with the um, the two leaves. Now, it needed some TLC. She said it was over 100 years old. I don't know about that. Uh, she said it was over 100 years old. Uh, the casters are wooden. So I, and you know, they were kind of rusty and, and didn't, it didn't seem to roll particularly well. And there was some, you know, one of the things was bent and so on. So I, you know, I took, uh, I took a caster uh, to restore Habitat for Humanity, thinking I could get replacement casters there. But of course, they don't have stuff that's that old. Well, I think he had one. Anyway, the guy started cleaning it up using WD-40 and some elbow grease. And then I continued that at home and some sandpaper and then some, um, I don't know what the in real intention is, but it's something my husband has, some sort of grease in a tube. Like not from a grease gun, but, you know, a very light, um, put a very light skim coat of that on it. And he straightened out some of the bent parts and it's hunky dory now i wish i would have measured it before i started talking about it i can see it across the room oh boy oh boy it is so tiny and i realize that 100 years ago people were a lot smaller than they are today but even so like what kind of what kind of <laughs> what size do you have to be to make that work Certainly, there couldn't have been any occupational health and safety or studies on ergonomics back in the day because that definitely wouldn't have worked. My small typewriter would cover the entire surface of it. And maybe that's why the two little wings, you could put a piece of paper on each one. But it, it it's really low, too. And I don't think that there's room for two knees underneath there. So clearly, it's more decorative than than anything a conversation piece for sure and uh, uh to be honest now that it's all kind of spiffied up i'm not even sure where i'm going to put it so eh, i don't know anyway still cute i've coveted one for a while okay this was also from that other place where the oprah magazines were free so this uh, again i don't have much use for Anyway, uh, night, copyright 1944, it's a Russian-English, English-Russian dictionary. So, you know, it's another dictionary. It's more Cyrillic uh, font that, of course, I use um, in the Ukrainian projects that I do. So that's why I took that. And, of course, the price was right. As this was also a freebie. Uh, permanent collection of the world's best recipes, poultry and game. It's kind of a good size. It's just a leaflet. Oh, it's different countries. 
Spain, Holland, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Israel, Wales. Um, I'm not going to read. I'm not going to list all the countries of the world. But, you know, it has kind of some... The photography is not that bad, considering that sometimes the stuff looks just kind of gross. 1988. Anyway, I'll put these two things aside as well. So that I have a little more room. Now, I, I hope that you guys... Someone out there in TV land. I saw these two plates. They're Sizzix. It says Stampin' Up. I paid 50 cents for each one. And I'm thinking, well, maybe this was a precursor to today's embossing folders. So, but they're, they're you know, they're pretty thick. So anyway, I took some paper that I didn't care about. Which one was it? Okay, this one. I should have taken this little tag off. Anyway, I thought, well, this one with love, love, love is a lot, um, you know, more pronounced a design than this other one. So that's the one I would try it out on. Now, I highly doubt that you can see that. Maybe I should take... Oh, I don't want to dirty this paper. Let's see if this makes any sort of a difference. This is just using my brush just out of the out of the out of the little ceramic thing that I keep it in. So it's not moist at all. It's just color that has accumulated over time. So I suppose for something like this, it might be all right. But if anyone um, has seen these things, used these things, has any bright ideas about how to get a better impression or whatever, I'd appreciate hearing that. Actually, I don't really mind this. It's pretty subtle. Now you can see you don't. You'd almost think I stole this paper. I cut this paper pretty well, exactly the size that it needed to be for the plate. Which I don't know if that's very a wise move or not, but. I don't think I got anything at all on the dot one. Now this says small dots and large dots. So, I don't know. I thought I would give it a try and I guess from this perspective, if a person did some highlighting or some burnishing like this, it uh, it's okay. But, again, if you have more information, better information, I would appreciate hearing it. Okay, so then I was at, oh, the same place I got those Sizzix things. There was scrapbooking paper. And it was only about a day or so before this that I had vowed to myself that I would not buy any more scrapbooking paper. But then, of course, you find some, some really cute papers or some really attractive papers and the good intentions go out the window. Oh, let me show you this. I'll get it out of the way. So this is kind of a, you know, a chiffonny type. Uh, well, they're calling it or organdy. <laughs> uh, ribbon, this bit here costs 75 cents. And it's a, you know, kind of a cream ivory color. So, okay, now the way this paper was bundled, they had stapled 10 sheets together, and there are staple marks, and the price tag said 10 for a dollar. So, again, that's pretty darn cheap. Anyway, I got this home. So, anyway, I tell the woman, I said, you know, the price said 10 for a dollar, and I showed her the tag, and I said... Um, I have several bundles here, 
but then there's some loose sheets. I didn't count them. I don't know where they came from, blah, blah, blah. When I get home and check my receipt, as I always do, I check my receipt and I, I kind of write some details on there as to what I paid for what. Would you believe that she charged me a dollar for all of it? So, screaming hot deal. Okay, so there are these feminine ones. Shoes and glasses, makeup and purses. A um, couple of those. This one is just, again, feminine type words. Powder, lipstick, eyes, wonderful. Oh, a couple of those. <laughs> Bobby pins. Um, which is kind of cute. I like this one. I think this was the thing that actually sold me on. But of course, you know, not all. These weren't bundled the way I've grouped them now. So, of course, you have to take this bundle and that bundle and this bundle. And I'm happy I got them. So, three sheets of that. This is just a kind of a sweet little background print. Three sheets of that. This is virtually useless to me. Um, this, again, maybe this is collage type material. I like this Argyle one. A uh, couple sheets of that. And these are, for the most part, they're a heavier paper. They're not, I guess they'd be a lightweight cardstock. Like this practically gives me. <laughs> Practically gives me a headache, but again, in small doses, I think it would be fine. A couple of those. Here's a black and red version. A couple of those. A couple or three. A couple. <clears throat> this one that looks almost reminds me of a circuit board or something. A couple of those. Some purples, polka dots, and this. Again, I don't know. This is really thin stuff. This is where I cut the paper that I was using on that, those Sizzix things. Some faded, really washed out denim looking stuff. And, whoa, it almost went crashing to the ground, guys. Maybe I should put this underneath instead of balance, trying to balance it elsewhere. So this is more distressed, grungy looking. And I realize you probably can't see the whole sheet, but you've got good imagination, so I'm sure you can figure it out. So there's that. There's this that looks like weathered signs. A couple of those. I like this. I think I like it because of the gold. There's so much going on. There's, you know, some black and white line drawings. There's, the you know, part of the world. Just a lot of cool stuff. So three of those. This, now, I don't know, maybe this is some sort of a thing that, I, well, I, I don't know what to say. The skulls throw me off. <laughs> uh, qu pen, you know, a quill and an ink, candles, or not candles, um, what do you call it? Crowns, scrolls, you know, those kinds of things. That's kind of easy to understand. I just didn't get the, the uh, skulls. This is quite cool, and obviously no one would ever want to print anything like this because of how much ink it would use. So getting it in um, paper is kind of fun. A um, couple of these with numbers, a couple of these with rulers and yardsticks. This is nice. Three of those. <laughs> this is different. It's got rusty objects in there, like keys and nails and so on. Uh, a couple of those. I really like this doily one. A couple of those. This looks like printed burlap. Now, this is kind of interesting. I don't know if you can kind of make it out from where you are. They're essentially books. And they've just sort of highlighted some parts of the spines. So I thought that was kind of nice. Three of those. 
a Tweety type hound's tooth. Three of those and we're done. So that I, I wasn't counting and I doubt you were. So that was a lot of paper for a dollar. So then I got this book. Uh, same place as the paper. It's big. I must have put my ruler away, but it's big. Let's see. 13 inches by 10. So it says paintings by J.F. Lansdowne, Birds of the Northern Forest. So I just flipped through it, you know, a wee bit in the store. And I'm thinking, oh, well, oh these kinds of drawing and, and the paper is a little bit glossy but then what I realized when I got home is that they show the finished painting and the study that was done for it so it's a series of studies finished studies finished all the way through and I mean obviously the finished well I mean there's there's value in both of them but the um the finished ones are gorgeous and they are not printed on the back side so that's a good thing so I mean they're they're of a size and quality that a person could even frame some if, if you wanted to so you know obviously way too big to use um, in a journal like as a page but uh, wouldn't they be lovely? Mind you, maybe depending on where the bird is positioned, they might work, some of them might work in a tall skinny. Um, and worst, oh, that's a big guy. Worst case scenario person could also just fussy cut them and use them that way. Maybe some of them are, are quite big even for that might end up being more like um, an art journal type. <laughs> Sleepy head. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I can't, I don't need to show you every single bird. Oh, maybe let's not end on violence. Oh, let's not end on violence. Let's end with some, with a bad hair day. Okay, uh, I will put this aside. I have a few more items to show you. And um, Okay. These things, I love this and I think I paid, uh, I think she charged me 50 cents. I like these little things, and I did do a video uh, a little while back on using these sorts of wallets to create journals or journal cover. Well, to use as a journal cover. So it's got this pocket. Now this maybe isn't the greatest, this plasticky stuff here. Um, didn't really notice that till now, to be honest. It's got this Mm, I don't know what what what, what is this? <laughs> uh, I would uh, cut off the Nygaard uh, thing. It's kind of a cute country print. There's this outside pocket. Like I, I can easily see. Like this feels good in the hand, so I can easily see doing something with this, even if it's just for myself. And here's a little pen holder. See, I would, well, I guess it's, it would open this way, sort of the opposite of how books open, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I just love it. Okay, now this was $1.50. Um, to be honest, I could have lived without this, really. These are bits of ribbon. Now again, it's it's kind of sweet. It's you know blue, it's kind of a nice blue and polka dots, which are usually fun. So I don't know if this was again came maybe with a wedding or an invitation 
type kit of some sort. And these are, it says, adhesive ste uh, uh, seals. So I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, this probably was, it says brides. So it probably was part of um, a package, you know, do-it-yourself invitations. I'll have to find a, a more efficient way to store that ribbon. I like this um, because it's copper. Now these, this is sort of a wedding type item as well. I don't know that you've probably seen them. They're those, um, and we used to carry these in our store, but what the heck are they for? Party favors, bridal decorations, hair bows and ornaments, baby showers, crafts and hobbies, corsages and floral displays, rice bags, pulpit. So supposedly there are 50, but of course this has been used. Nine inches in diameter, I paid 50 cents. So, I guess anywhere a person is using a, do a paper doily, that would work. Um, adding a bit of shimmer and shine to any other decoration that might be in the works. I should actually, well, after the video, I'll put that flat so some of those creases start relaxing. I picked up two bags of this. Now it was four dollars. There are four picks. You know this one is old. Four picks inside, and um, I thought they were really quite cool. Now these leaves feel that if I bent them, they would shatter. <laughs> um, not really sure what that's made of, but of course there are some berries. There are these little, these sweet little flowers. Ribbon roses, uh, these springy thing. So obviously something, this could easily be taken apart and, and should be taken apart. And these dimensional type objects would of course work best on the cover of the journal. So two of those. Um, same place, they seem to like the price 50, whoops, 50 cents. So that was fine with me. Um, again, color is all about the color. So this is wired ribbon, two chunks of it, 50 cents. Uh, this one is more coppery and it's got feathers on it. Oh, quite sheer. Look how nice that looks. Look how nice that looks. Boy. You know, it's too bad there aren't a few more hours in the day. I have so many projects that I am itching to get on, on with. Um, I did not need chipboard, but maybe it isn't even chipboard. Let's go. Sorry, I keep, I keep losing, losing my grip here. Um. These are all little frames, which is a plus in itself. They're not really chipboard. They're more like a cardstock. But, you know, cool. Cool, cool. They're already decorated. Two bucks for this bag. I don't know how many there are. You know, I'm not the I'm not the greenest person in the world. Green is not the the, uh, the really the color that I gravitate to, but it is the color of nature, and it goes well with other colors. So I can make it work. Um, Thank you tags. Now, I don't know if this is something that I would just throw in with an Etsy order or if I would repurpose these or, or what. I just finished taping, and you haven't seen it yet, a, uh, a video on tags and washi tape. And in that case, one of the tags that I was 
working on were very similar to these. In fact, virtually identical, I would say. Uh, except they were hot pink and purple. So they were intended like for bridal things. So um, probably these are too. Um, anyway, I'll add this to my tag stash. Uh, I'm almost done. Oh, who can say no? I paid 50 cents. Who can say no to confetti? Now this is from a batch for a bachelorette party, I guess. And what I liked was kind of all those lips. Um, who knows? Maybe that'll even find its way into uh, some of the boho stuff that I'm working on right now for that um, Rach and Bella thing. How boho can you go? Should I open this right now and have static electricity spread it everywhere? Mm, no. Okay, another little package of tags. These are different in that they're square with notched out corners. They also cost a dollar. They're cardstock. I don't know how many there are. Not that many, maybe a dozen at that. A uh, little bit of twine. Um, there's this. Again, 50 cents. So it's it's basically tape with its own dispenser. And you can see lips, high heel, I guess those are eyelashes, gems. So, you know, all those feminine kind of things. So I need to use this. A deck of cards, which I thought was really kind of sweet and demure. Now that girl... She's holding a little posy. I don't know if you can see that or not. I wonder if she's supposed to be a bride. Maybe not. Just a girl in a meadow with a little, a little posy of flowers and some daisies in her hair. You know, sweet, innocent. And finally, some earrings. And guess what? They were 50 cents a pair. Uh, let me save the best for the last. So I think that anything like this that is already pretty well pre-made, all you have to do is remove it from this shepherd's hook <coughs> and add it to a ball pin or something is like bonus. Um, these are kind of cute. They've got this little um, like wire. It, it reminds me of a twig ball, except of course it's made of wire. So those are good colors. This is not a favorite color, but maybe it'll go with those green. Look at that. It will go with those green and yellow things there. <laughs> I thought this was interesting. And then I get home and I see, uh-oh, clip-ons. So that will be a little more interesting to, um, to deal with, I guess. I guess a person could, oh, I'm sure I could break that off. Or I could clip it onto something. Let's pretend we had a tag. Does it hold? It holds. Well, almost. It rounded the corner. I guess it can't be too tight, otherwise it would have pinched people's ears. And from what I hear, I think those clip-ons did pinch people's ears. And that's probably why they no longer are being used. Anyway, whether I break that thing off, cut that thing off, or use it, find some way to make it grasp a little better. Like obviously if it was on something thicker, it would hold better. Yeah, not bad. Definitely holds better on something of a wee bit thicker. But 
the best pair of all, and I didn't even realize this when I picked it up. I just grabbed anything that looked like it was going to be a dangle. These two have a key, a locket, I mean a key, a padlock, a key, and a tiny little locket that opens. Which was the easier one? Like, look at, look at, 50 cents, man. And the coppery color that I love. Is that not awesome? You know, it's a small thing. It's a cheap thing. But boy, does it make me happy. <laughs> Sorry about these hands. I was doing some tea dyeing. Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I thought I did very well, to be honest. And um, I always post my thrifting videos on Thursdays, um, trying to use both the hashtag Thrifty Canucks and Thrifty Thursday, because you know, we all love alliteration. So I hope you join me then to um, keep track of what I'm, what I'm getting and what I'm using. And whether you're garage sailing, going to estate sales, um, antique malls, thrift stores, secondhand stores, I um, hope you find some goodies as well. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.